Frank Ferrante uh, plays the Caesar in Teatro Zanzani, which is coming back to Chicago July 8th. Frank, uh, for someone who has never seen the show before, tell us a little bit about the concept. Well, the concept is is pretty fascinating. I'd never experienced anything like it before, Rudy, on stage. And I've worked in the theater for a long time. Uh, it's it's a, a very elegant, outrageous, over-the-top um, variety show uh, that takes place under a 100-year-old tent, what they call a Spiegel tent, which is gorgeous. It's a velvety, burgundy fabric, and it's, it's a mirrored tent uh, with hand-carved wood, and you feel like you're stepped back in time. Very European feel. It's got a lot of, lot of atmosphere, and there's a live band, great musicians from Chicago uh, and, and around the world, uh, and the acts are contortionists, aerialists, comedians, singers from everywhere, from all over the world. And it is a nonstop entertainment in which I, in essence, play the host, the Caesar, which is this Latin lover out character that I concocted 20 years ago that's been popular in other places that the show has, has been presented. San Francisco, Seattle, Chicago, prior, you know, um, so that's what it is. It is, a, it is a laugh riot show. It's highly energetic. There's a four course meal that's, an, that's, a, it's a, that's a prepared, designed by Deborah Sharp, who is a local legend in, 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 in the culinary world of Chicago. And all of it kind of is intertwined and it's filled with surprises and you never know what's gonna happen next, but it's a complete escape and probably the perfect show for this time in, in history, quite frankly. I've loved doing it my whole life. My, I, I get to participate in some of the interactive humor and comedy. There's a great deal of improvisation and um, it's, it's wildly fun for performers and the audience. Because, you know, many times people might go out to dinner beforehand and then go see a show or, you know, someone may say, oh, I want to go see live theater and I want to go see a comedy show or we're going to, you know, a Cirque show. You, this combines everything all into one. Absolutely. And you couldn't get a better deal because it, it just as a meal itself, it, it, it's, it's, it works for you. But the fact that you're getting three hours or two and a half hours of entertainment swirling about. And I should have mentioned, Rudy, it's all in the round. So we, we perform within a nine foot diameter and the audience is all around us. So the audience, the patrons have aerialists and trapeze artists above their heads. We're at their tables. And so you have that immediacy, something we've not been able to have for almost a year and a half, that kind of intimacy and connection. You know, TV is great. Netflix is great. There's plenty of great entertainment on the screen, but nothing really compares to that kind of electricity and energy and laughing with 300 other people. Uh, that is what I, I miss. I miss being around audiences and feeling the electricity and watching people laugh till they cry. I mean, there's nothing better than that. I've got a great job as a comic actor. And uh, Teatro Zinzani is one of those shows that has allowed me to play out my fantasy of being a, a, a comedian. The show, you know, it's part stand-up, it's musical, uh, it's uh, all circ, circus, great circus acts. And I'll be back in a dressing room. I'm sitting back there with, you know, a Russian illusionist. You're there from an Israeli balancing guy and French foot jugglers. I mean, it's outrageous. It's just as crazy backstage as it is, as it is on stage. Yeah, you almost have the reality show, you know, what's going on back there getting ready versus, you know, what you're actually seeing on the stage. I've always thought that'd be a great idea. And I think the audience feels how unusual it is. When I first saw it, I didn't know who was in the show and who worked for the for the venue, who was the maitre d', who were the, who were the waiters, I mean, the, the servers, and who was box office, because you don't know who's who. There's some mystery to it that, that way, too. And the music is, you know, that's every form of music from classical to contemporary to... Uh, jazz to the American songbook. So there's music throughout the entire evening. It's a transporting experience, Rudy. I, I feel like when I'm not on the stage, I'm listening and watching. And that is a treat. I mean, I get to see my peers and I get to watch an audience go crazy for it. I get to see like people who are the best at what they do. Anyone, you know, they've really kind of, and I'm proud to be included in this great company. Uh, some of the funniest people I've ever met. Great clowns, clowning people, great comics. And, you know, and that's part, it's not like, you know, you're going to an accountancy, you know, you're going, you know, backstage, you know, it's, it's outrageousness. And this is the time. So I, I, I can't wait to, to open the show and spend six months of my life in Chicago, which I love. I got, I got a great taste of Chicago back in 2019, which was a delight. 
So 2019, um, the show was there. It, it's come back. If someone saw it originally, is this a whole different show? Is this, you know, some of our favorites that we're going to see from the time before? It's a great, it's a great question. And it's a great mix of, of performers. I'm returning when I'm doing new bits, new songs, new costumes. Uh, but I, the majority of the cast is brand, is brand new. You know, a great, and one of them is local. Cuneo is, is, was, is local to Chicago, I believe. And he's a great singer. And uh, Joe DePaul and I are the two comedians that are returning. But the other seven or eight performers are, have not been seen in Chicago, some of them. So, so you saw the show before. You got to go definitely go back and, and check oh, it out. I, you know, I always feel like you can actually see the same show and it's different every night. If you had the same cast for five straight years, Rudy, it's, you, it would be a different show. It's that kind of show. It's that, so much improvisation. But for those who have seen it, it'll be a, a, a particular treat because they'll get to meet some new new talent that they haven't seen. Now, especially with, with the retro feel of, of the stage and the experience, um, are people dressing up kind of in their fancy retro gear? I, they do. People tend to get fancy for this thing. People wear boas and men will wear, you don't have to, but, it, but if you want to feel like you're part of it, it doesn't hurt for you to be outrageous and stylish. There's no judgment here. That's another great thing about this venue. It, we're, we encourage the audience to have a great time to be crazy with us, to let loose. Um, there's also a, you know, a, a full bar, I should say, which also helps people let loose. And, uh, and, and a beautiful lobby. The lobby is artfully directed. It's, you Imagine this. You get to, uh, you're on Randolph and you go to the Cambria Hotel and you, you, you know, it's this beautiful, I think a 1920s building, which is part of the Nederlander, formerly the Oriental Theater, uh, you, know, a, 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 you know, an institution in Chicago, one of the great theaters. But you go into the building and our, our venue is, uh, you know, adjacent right next to this in that building. And you go up to the 13th floor in this elevator and you get out and you don't know what's going to be behind that elevator door. And all of a sudden you're seeing stuff you, you, you can't imagine this, the elegance and the wildness. And it's three floors on, at the Cambria Hotel. Get this, 13, 14 and 15, high ceilings, brick, beautifully lit, chandeliers. And, and, you, and, and it, the ceilings are high because they're aerial acts and trapeze acts. And it's, it, it, you feel like you can't believe that the city of Chicago is right outside you know, the doors there. So um, I always loved, you know, whether, whether it was in San Francisco or Seattle or sh Chicago, you feel like you're, um, you're in another world. It's a different universe there. Well, especially now, you know, I had read something, you know, because of the pandemic we've been in and everything has been shut down, that people were saying, I now understand the roaring 20s, that once the pandemic was over, people got dressed up, people wanted to go out every night. And I feel like this show kind of embodies that whole, we're out, let's get dressed up, let's go have fun with other people, let's go enjoy life to its fullest. Totally. That's exactly what the show, you know, it's interesting. There's a reason why comedy was so big in the 20s and 30s. Everyone wanted to laugh for good reason. And I think we're there. that's why you had you know, the Marx Brothers and Three Stooges and Mae West and Laurel and Hardy, all that comedy was, was king. People wanted to laugh. And that's what this show does. It, it gives an audience license to just let go uh, without any judgment whatsoever. But I think that's a great analogy. It feels like we're, it is the, we're here, here we are in the roaring 20s and there's no better venue. Uh, even when nothing's going, even at meals, when the music is playing, you know, that you feel free and it, without even when the acts aren't happening. And when the acts are happening, you know it because they're they're just over the top and wonderful and and beautiful. Some you know some and sexy and and outrageous. There's so much you know. One moment it might be a, you know this crazy cacophonous comic moment. The next moment you may have this beautiful aerialist who's, who's choking you off. You're getting teary. So the show kind of is juxtaposed that way with with the with mad style of American humor and then more of a European beauty and. It's nothing like I've ever seen. It's it's different than Cirque du Soleil. People might say it's Cirque, but it's not. It's a very intimate setting, which is great. You're really Cirque du Soleil. You're playing to two thousand people. I'm not knocking it, but it's just a different experience. At Teatro Zanzani, it's only like two hundred and fifty people. It's a, it's intimate, and you're again, everyone's next to each other. You know, they're you know they're at tables together, and you're communing with people, and you're you're breaking bread, and and it's um. You know, you have chance. You have time to talk to your fellow patrons uh, between acts and during the meal breaks. B uh, meals are brought out throughout the evening. You know, from the open appetizers, and then there's a starter, and there's a main course, and there's a dessert, and it's all very, um, very precisely, uh, elegantly kind of woven into this fun evening. It's it's oh. great.
It, oh, exactly. Especially, you know, Cambria Hotel, right in the theater district here in Chicago land. So you're seeing all the other shows that, you know, they're going to be popping up in town, but definitely, you know, right in the heart of that. And you're not going to get anything else with three floors of space dedicated to something in Chicago. And I don't even think New York or I can't even think of another building that has that kind of space and that kind of intimacy right there. No, can you imagine that space, Rudy, was discovered a few years ago. Um, no one knew it was there because it was office buildings, three floors, and had dropped ceilings, and all of it was gutted. And they realized that there used to be a theater in that building. And there were little pieces of the what they call the proscenium arch. You know, the stage was still the top of the stage. Little remnants were there. And it was like it had been hidden for decades. So all of it was, was you know, was taken out of there. And it was been converted into this modern yet vintage feeling space but it, it's like it's been hidden there like this it's like this ghost that is the spirit that has emerged from it's it's meant to be there is what i guess i'm trying to say it, it's and, meant to be there it's a parallel for life because we've all felt like we've been hidden for decades now <laughs> the world is opening back up go check out uh <laughs> teatro zanzani july 8th is when it's coming back to chicagoland cambria hotel zanzani.com slash chicago go ahead and get your tickets Take your friends, take your families. Yes. Celebrate, have a good time, have a wonderful meal. And yes, and, and this, this is my character there. That's the Caesar. And go check out the Caesar right there. Frank uh, yes. Ranti, original uh, host here of the show here in Chicago, and then coming back again uh, for us. Thank you. I can't wait.